crossover pack to the games on the £20 PSN sale. There's a ton of really good retro and indie games in this sale, and I found some really cool ones. And you can even save tons of money as well, so you can't ask for much more really, can you now? Now before we start, PlayStation have a new scheme. It's called PlayStation Stars. You can sign up for it on the PlayStation app, and for every game purchase you make on PSN Store, you get points which you can trade in for rewards, including PSN vouchers and actual games. So it's literally free stuff. You might as well sign up for it if you like the sound of it. Anyway, check it out. You can't go wrong with freebies. Okay, this sale ends on the 26th of October, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up is Arcade Classics Anniversary Collection. It was released in 2019, so it's three years old, but the games are much older than that really, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.19, which is really great. This Konami collection includes 8 games from the 80s arcades. 7 of them are scrolling shooters, including 2 Gradius games and 1 platformer. For fans of the scrolling shooter genre, you'll probably really enjoy this collection, and at this price, it's well worth you checking out, so definitely take a look at it. And if you've never played arcade scrolling shooters before, then at this price, you might as well take a look at this. You gain a ton of games for the money, and you can't go far wrong, really. So if you've always been interested, take a look. But if you don't like scrolling shooters, Definitely avoid this, because it's mostly that, and you'll have a terrible time if you don't like them. You can always pick up some else in the sale instead. Up next is Castlevania Requiem Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. It was released in 2018, so it's 4 years old, but the games are much older than that really, and they're on an 80% discount for the price of £3.19, which is really great value, especially as you get two of the best Castlevania games ever made. It's a legendary series, and these are two of the best where you get to fight Dracula as Richter Belmont in one, and you get to play as Dracula's son in the second. With both games being set in huge mansions, with the typical Metroidvania gameplay, we get to run around opening new areas and fighting huge epic bosses. I love Metroidvania games, and this is half of the franchises that started it way back in the day. Castlevania is a legendary series, and these are arguably the two best Castlevania games. So if you're a fan of Castlevania and you never played them, this is a great chance to pick them up. And hey, if you've never played a Metroidvania game before, these are two really good AAA ones from a legendary series. So if you've ever been interested, this is a great opportunity for you to pick these up right now and have a great time. You'll probably really enjoy yourself and find a new genre that you'll love. You can't go far wrong at this price. Check them out. Contra Anniversary Collection is our next game. It was released in 2019, so it's three years old, but the games are much older than that really and they're on an 80% discount for the price of £3.19, which is great for so many games, as it includes 10 games from the NES, SNES, Arcade and Game Boy era, plus a bonus ebook, The History of Contra, which will be really interesting for fans of the series. It's a really great collection. You get to play the legendary retro shooter series, including different versions of the originals in this awesome collection. It features difficult skill-based shooting and platforming with massive bosses and a huge variety of guns to use. This series is just as legendary as the Castlevania games, so if you're a run and gun shooting fan, or you like challenging games but you never played them, you'll probably want to check these games out. Next up we have a VR game, Darknet. It was released in 2017 so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £2.24, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, for non-PS Plus members, which is great, now everyone can get this at the same deal. This is a puzzle hacker game, where no move controllers are supported, so if you don't have them, you don't have to worry about it. In this game, you get to play as an elite hacker, contracted to retrieve data from the world's most secure networks. You get to plug into the net and deploy viruses, inject code, and tunnel through company cybersecurity to complete your contracts. Which sounds really cool for anyone that's ever been interested in IT security, or even the old film Hackers, which was garbage, but it still might pique your interest in this sort of thing. It seems like a pretty different and unique puzzle game, and I bet it's really fun to play in VR as well. So if you have a PSVR headset, and you like your puzzle games, you might just want to check this one out. I think you'll really enjoy it. And hey, if you've never played a VR puzzle game before, I'm not sure I'd recommend this one. It's really good and it's really cheap, but there are some really cool puzzle games in VR, with more immersive environments, and cooler places to explore. There's so many good options, it's really hard to pick one over the other. But hey, if you really like the sound of this one, why not check it out? It's in this list for a reason. We have a beat-em up next, Dragon's Crown Pro. 
It was released in 2018, so it's four years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £4.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. In this RPG beat-em-up, you get to play as one of six classes, with both ranged and melee combat, as you explore dungeons, finding treasure and fighting monsters. It features enhanced 4K graphics for the PS4, with enhanced audio and re-recorded live orchestral soundtrack as well, so you're getting the best version of the game with much improved graphics and soundtrack. And it even features 4-player offline and online co-op as well, which is great. That makes beat-em-ups so much more fun to play, and it also makes it a great game for local co-op. It's a great game to get your mates around and have a good beat-em-up. So if you're a fan of the old beat-em-up games, like the arcade ones, or the old Mega Drive and Super Nintendo ones, then you'll really enjoy this game. I like beat-em-up games, and I loved this game when I played it on Vita. It's well worth taking a look at. And hey, if you've never played a beat-em-up before, this is a really good modern one, with really cool RPG mechanics, a pretty decent story, and a load of cool features as well. Highly recommended. If you've always wanted to try beat-em-up, why not start with this one? It's a really great one. Next up is Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire. It was released in 2017, so it's 5 years old, and is on an 85% discount for the price of £2.39, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. In this action RPG, you embark on a journey with Princess Cecile and her talking grimoire as you explore gorgeous hand-drawn lands filled with rival soldiers and monsters while utilising a team of living weapons to fight back, and also ruling the Empire in between those fights. So this is a bit of a unique game. You get the action RPG elements, but you also get the kingdom ruling in between bits as well. So it's a bit of a mashup of genres, but it also looks kind of cool because of that as well. So if you like niche little action RPGs with twists on them, you'll love this game. You should definitely take a look at it if you like the sound of that. And hey, if you've never played an action RPG before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting with this one. It looks really cool and it's really cheap, but it is very different, especially compared to most of the genre. So you might want to start somewhere else if you want to get a better idea of what these games are normally like. Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's four years old, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £4.79, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal, especially for a game of this quality, with an anime franchise license as well. Usually they're much more expensive than this. This third-person action RPG is set in a post-apocalyptic Earth, where Kenshiro, master of the Hokuto Shinkin martial arts, searches for his kidnapped fiancée, following rumours that she may be in the mysterious city of miracles, known as Eden. This game is basically a Yakuza reskin, so if you like those games, and you like Fist of the North Star, you'll love this game, because it's all of the gameplay and fun mechanics of Yakuza, but with the Fist of the North Star franchise on top, making it an amazing game for fans of that series. So if you're a fan of third-person action RPGs, you should definitely check this out, especially if you like the Yakuza series, or more importantly if you like the Fist of the North Star series. You'll love it if you like any of that. And hey, if you haven't played a third-person action RPG before, then you could pick this one up. But if you're not interested in Fist of the North Star, there are other options for you as well, specifically the Yakuza games that do get a little cheaper than this, although not too much. So if you really like the look of this one, you can just get this one instead if you want. Our next game is Hunting Simulator. It was released in 2017, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.59, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really great deal. This hunting sim provides 12 hunting locations, 17 different firearms, 50 hunting tools, and 37 species of prey. You get to hunt a large variety of animals in this game, across varied locations with a variety of weaponry and tools that'll help you track and trap along the way. It also features 4-player online multiplayer, a shooting range, and a free hunt mode. So this game may be a bit different, but if you're looking for a hunting sim, there's not a lot of options for you, and this looks like one of the best, and it's on a really good deal right now. So you might just want to have a look at it if that sounds great to you. Next up was the last of a great series, Metal Gear Solid V The Definitive Experience. It was released in 2016, so it's 6 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.19 which is phenomenal value for this package. As this version includes Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, The Ground Zero's prologue, and Metal Gear Online, plus all of the DLC. Although the online has been terminated now, so none of the online stuff will work, but you still get the full game, the prologue, and all of the DLC as well, which is what you really want anyway. In this third-person stealth action game, Snake Returns, 
working with the MSF to infiltrate an American black site located on Cuban soil, with the objective being to extract some of the prisoners who have vital information on the location of the person known as Cypher. This is probably the most famous and legendary third-person stealth series ever made, and it was the final hurrah before Hideo Kojima finally got let out of his cage and he escaped to freedom away from Konami. He'll never be able to make a Metal Gear Solid game again, but at least he's not a prisoner for the rest of his life, which is cool. Basically, if you like third-person action games, especially stealth, you'll really love this. If you're a fan of the series, it's one of the best ones they ever made, it really is. It was the last one, but God was it a good one. Well worth checking out if you like any of this genre, or the series in general. And hey, if you've never played a Metal Gear Solid game before, then there are a lot of them to play, so it's up to you if you want to pick this one up. You're going to be skipping a ton of story, so if that matters to you, you might not want to get this game. But hey, it's really good, and the series is legendary. So wherever you start in it, you're going to have a good time, even if you don't understand all of the story. You're not going to care too much. You'll be having too much fun. Our next game is Sniper Elite 4 Digital Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2017, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the price of £6.99, which is an awesome deal, as this edition includes the full £29 season pass, full of DLC of new missions, weapons, characters, and weapon skins. In this third-person shooter, you get to experience the definitive Sniper franchise, with huge levels, tactical gameplay, epic long shots, all as you fight to liberate wartime Italy. And it also features two-player co-op and four-player online multiplayer as well. So if you've got a friend to play with, you'll really enjoy this game. I doubt there's anything like this around anywhere. If you're a fan of sniper games and you want to play with a friend, this is the game for you. And hey, if you just like sniping in general, why not take a look at it? It's probably the best sniper series around these days, and you can't go far wrong with it, you really can't. And if you've never played a sniper game like this before, then I would definitely recommend it. Especially if you've played first person or third person shooters and you really enjoy them, you'll get a lot out of this game. So why not take a look at it and at least consider picking it up. And the final game I have for you is my star by Tales of Sisteria Digital Standard Edition. It was released in 2015 so it's 7 years old and is on a 90% discount for the low price of £2.49 which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a phenomenal deal for a game of this quality. And this edition even includes additional Mystic Arts for your characters, and a PS4 theme as well, so you do get a bit extra, even though it's just the standard edition. This JRPG is set in a world torn by war and political skirmishes, where you play as Sori, blessed with powers by the Seraphim. You must now reunite humans and Seraphim by freeing the land from terrifying creatures spawned by negative emotions, known as the Helion. This game is from a legendary series of JRPGs, and from what I can tell, they're not connected. A lot like the Final Fantasy games, they're all good, but you don't have to have played them all to get them. Which is great, because this is a really good game and a really good deal, and I'd hate for you to miss out because you think you're missing out on some story, which you're not. This is a really good JRPG from an awesome series of games at a really good price. It's unbelievably good value, it really is. It's such a good game for the money. Like I said, it's my star buy. It's well worth taking a look at. It's highly recommended for anyone that loves JRPGs and hasn't played it yet. And if you've never played the JRPG, then I'd recommend this, because it's a really good quality one and an awesome price. So definitely check it out. You'll love it, I promise. And that's all the games I have from the games at a £20 PSN sale. What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones or did I pick bad ones? And what about the Star Boy? Did it deserve it or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your complaints down in the comments and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some games you're interested in, but more importantly, I hope you guys saved a lot of money. I'll see you in the next sale. Oil Vower.